Kada Maldini no Baba I'm gonna win cause my name is Jabba You're living life over here like YOLO Well guess what? I'm the boss of Han Solo Pikachu, that's what I say when I'm looking at you. You coming to me, you get your downfall, you're never getting me, but I'm gonna catch them all. Oh! I thought that I would catch them all, but you were too dumb and too small. Listen to my rhymes, yes, I am a slayer. Be careful, or you'll be my next slave, Leia. Too far? Mm. Check it, check it, and check it. You think you're the best bass thug? You know what I think you are, you're just a slug. I look at you, you look like a hot dog weenie. At least I wasn't murdered by your chicken up bikini. I'm the king of Tatooine Come at me again and I'll make you scream Pika! That's you, I was doing you You and me, you know we're not equals You suck as bad, almost as bad as the prequels Yeah, look at you, you're getting planned I'm like Anakin, I don't like Sam oh, Give it up for winner right here Questions. Even hotter host. Hi, I'm your host, Man Manningson, and have we got a whale of a show for you here today. Uh, let me introduce our, our guest. First, we have Noah. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure all of you just think I'm crazy no matter what I say. <laughs> Great, over to you, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Great to be here. Uh, uh, a local Hawaiian. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, aloha! And the, the darkness himself, Edgar Allan Poe. I may be here today, but we are all lo not long for this world. <laughs> brooding, brooding. And again, I'm Man Manningson. Uh, we're going to start with our first question, global warming. Jerry, your thoughts? Well, what's the deal with global warming? I mean, it's supposed to be all hot, but my freezer is still ice cold. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, local Hawaiian. Oh, oh uh, well, you know, I live in a grass shack every day of my life, and there's no hot showers, so now the ocean's getting warm. I can't swim in there. It's like a warm bath. <laughs> what an optimist. <laughs> and Edgar Allan Poe. Every day the earth is heating as our hearts within us beating towards the sky. Our hands have clawed and then we asked, where is our God? I know where he is. I know where he is. <laughs> uh, the, the next topic, uh, one that uh, is rather simple, but I just want to know your thoughts on paper versus plastic. Let's start with you, Jerry. Well, what's the deal with paper versus plastic? Who's taking these bags and throwing them out in the ocean? I mean, what's the deal with paper? Is it a tree? 
Who are you? Okay, we? very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, local Hawaiian. Oh, well, I used to think uh, plastics in the ocean is a big problem, but I was out swimming with my cousin, and we caught one fish, and I said, where well, am I going to put with this fish? I found a plastic bag right in the ocean. No, I put the fish right in the bag, brother. Uh, over to you, Edgar. She looked so fair, my love so spastic, dressed in to toes in paper and plastic. <laughs> Though her beauteous form I eyed, it was in vain my true love died. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Noah, Noah, your thoughts. Well, for a long time we were exclusively plastic until the unicorns got caught up in it, so now we were all paper. <laughs> We're paper. Short and sweet, I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, another hot button, hot button topic. Uh, this one is actually from our audience. Uh, audience, what, what's a hot button topic you want to know about? Gun control. <laughs> gun control. <laughs> uh, local Hawaiian, your, your thoughts on gun control. Oh, well, a couple people have shot me and I never die, so people can't have guns. <laughs> Uh, you gotta have your guns. That's the only way you can eat. That's how we took down the mammoth and uh, the T-Rex. And Jerry. I mean, what's the deal with gun control? I mean, you take away the gun, the guy doesn't have the gun, and then you give it back. Well, he's got the gun back. I mean, who are these people? Very good, guys! Give a round of applause for our performers! called Carnegie Hall. Uh, Zach's very smart. That's the end of the game. I just state that he's smart. Uh, how it works is Zach's a very talented improvised singer. Uh, and what we're going to do is he is going to receive uh, words. Random words written by uh, Sammy, Shay, and Sam. Uh, and he has to include those into his song. Improv Broadway Band, take it away! in Africa in those blessed rains But in a snowy environment I need those tires on my chains I get hungry for potatoes and I want to eat those sweet tatas Then I'm gonna do the dance I'm gonna do the Hakuna Matata Yeah, I was born in America You know that I'm feeling lucky but I thank God every day I wasn't born in Kentucky Oh, you know what it's say, I'll supply you, you know I'm a cooler But if you get too close, I'll suck your blood, cause I'm Dracula Oh, I can go all day, it's almost if it's automatic But when I do get a brain glitch, then you know it, and it's problematic Oh, yeah, 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 door hinge, yeah, 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 orange, don't you know my clothes, they're nice, you know I'm looking so stout, but my favorite president is not Obama, it's my dear or Roosevelt, oh, you know I've got the time of heart, cause I'm doing his, but when my wife asks me to I say no, I'm not gonna take out that garbage Hypnosis Pick a text, and what I need is I need two volunteers to unlock their phones so we could borrow them for a minute. Oh, you and you. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Brady and Shay can only use dialogue from these text messages. I hope they're appropriate. And 
Sam will be the justifier. He can fill in words wherever he needs to. Uh, we're going to get a prompt for a scene, and this one is right before a boxing match. A coach and a boxer. Ready? Begin. All right, kid. Show me the mitts. I've never had any interest. <laughs> you can't say that. Not before the biggest fight of your career. Speaking of science and books, a few months ago I got a fairly cheap book that is a collection of seven of Jules Verne's classic novels. That's your mother talking. No. Nope. And when you came with me, we decided you'd be a boxer. L-O-L. How dare you bring that kind of talk under this hollowed roof! Oh, no. <clears throat> can I talk to you in here for a minute? Anything you gotta say to me, you can say in front of my daughter. LOL. Not another one out of you. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be fun. Um, <laughs> listen. I feel you're pulling back a little bit, but uh, I like you too much to give up already. Scene right there, guys! Give it up! Sam and Sam are hosts of, a, uh, of an awards show. Uh, they're going to be telling you all about the brand new musical. So what I need is a name of a musical that's never existed. Santa. Oh, I like that one the best. <laughs> Sad Santa. Uh, Sam and Sam, take it over. All right, welcome back to KWXM 93.4. I'm point .3, and I'm Sam. <laughs> you know what's really common around the holidays? What, point .3? Seasonal depression. That's right. Uh, which is why we started our own award show where we pick our favorite musical. Uh, that's right, and that's this song that this show that we're about to present to you is a show dedicated to everything lovely about the holidays and everything not so lovely about the holidays. That's right. The good, the bad, the sad, the also sad, right? <laughs> And this musical really embraces that with the, with the yin to Santa's yang, the Krampus to Chris's Kringle. The Krampus. That's right. Yep. The, the evil Santa. The actual Krampus. That's right. That's right. That dark horned goat like spirit that torments the naughty children at Christmas time by stuffing them in a bag and beating them with briars. Let's give a listen to his big song, Get in the Bag. You little freaks! Put the stand up! I know that Santa's fat, but shut up! I'm a bad guy! I'm not afraid to pitch! Hey! I'm not the Grinch! I'm Krampus! And I'm here to say there's one command I got, and you better do it today! Get in the bag! Get in the bag! Get in the bag! Get in the bag! Get in the back, 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 get in the back. You know, when, you know, when I first saw this show, when I was 12, it doesn't translate on the record, but during that number, the Krampus actually goes to the entire audience, grabbing every child that was brought and stuffing them in his bag. The song goes on for about 20 minutes. They don't see their parents again until the show's over. They're gone. 
It really gets the audience invested. Yeah. Yeah, they really, they really do care after that. Of course, who are the poor people who are caught in the crossfire between St. Nick and the Krampus? The elves. That's right. The true unsung heroes of, of Christmas who put aside dreams of dentistry to make toys. That's right. And the, the, the final song that comes together is when the lead elf, he leads a revolution and his, his little elf helpers join in. That's right. That, that song, that song of multiple tiny voices all singing together, Elf, Elf Unite. Unite. <laughs> Let's give Elf it a listen. Unite. One, two, three, four little dollies. One, two, three, four little dreams. <laughs> you and me together, we can stand up for ourselves. Because we're the greatest creatures, we're Santa's elves. We're going to find a way. before you is five geriatrics. Uh, that means old. Uh, they are old. And how this works is I'm going to get items from you and they're going to jump out and say, back in my day, we didn't have those items and then make a punchline. So uh, give me something that you use every day that's not a cell phone. The internet. The internet is your first suggestion. Back in my day, we didn't have the internet. If we wanted to complain about somebody, we didn't. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have the internet. We just talked to each other. We went to our neighbor's house and asked them for toys and sugar and what we needed for the winter. And that's it. Back in my day, we didn't have the internet and spam was a delicious meat. Back in my day, we didn't have the internet, and if you wanted to get your identity stolen, you had to send a picture of your face to a bad guy. <laughs> Back in my day, uh, we didn't have the internet, and uh, uh, Facebook was uh, 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 evidence in a murder trial for a serial killer. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, give, me an, uh, give me another item. Another... Glasses. Back in my day, we didn't have glasses, and if you said bifocals, you could get arrested. <laughs> back in my day, back in my day, we didn't have glasses, and the kid who we called Four Eyes was just a mutant. <laughs> 
Back in my day, we didn't have glasses. If you wanted a drink, you cupped your hands. I don't get you kids. Back in my day, uh, we didn't have glasses, and uh, if you wanted spectacles, uh, you would just wear shorts at the Methodist church. You had no idea there were so many glasses jokes. Uh, give me uh, another... Let's try it out. Back in my day, we didn't have self-esteem, and some things just never change. <laughs> That's a self-esteem joke. Let's get it. This game is called Don't Be Chicken. How it works is uh, we have a chef here, Chef K, who runs the Broke Eatery. Big round of applause for Chef. Right over here. You've prepared these special uh, for the show tonight, right? Oh, chef most K? definitely. So I understand these are particularly spicy. Oh, they're really spicy, yeah. So, uh, you can handle it? I'm already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from what I understand, jalapenos are, uh, are on the uh, uh, Scoville scale, and those are range at about 8,000, right? Yeah. What are? Jalapenos. jalapenos. And, and there's no jalapenos. There's this not. is 350,000 all... scopels <laughs> in one of the peppers alone. Okay. So, so, yeah. give it up. That's very good. Give it up for Chef K, everybody. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. I wish I would have seen this in my contract. Yeah, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Already got paid. K, back out now. Oh. How this game works is uh, Zach and Kirby are going to put on a scene. If they break, laugh, smile anything in the scene, they will have to eat a wing. Um, and for sake of time, for sake of time, we're not going to make them eat the whole wing, but they will take a very generous, healthy bite. So if we laugh or if they laugh... the audience laughs, right? Yeah, let's make it you guys. That's fun. <laughs> oh, they're already laughing, oh, Kirby. No. What a <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so we're going to set the scene. Um, this is just two friends on a dude weekend. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. Hey, Gary. Yeah. Just want to say your name. That's a dumb. Sorry, Kirk, already. I Let's know, go. I should have. Go ahead and it. take a bite. Oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh. Richard, I just. <laughs> Richard, are you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Kirby, I'm sorry, you gotta take another bite. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, a little bit of a bigger bite this time, Kirby. Not on the piece you already bit. Go ahead and spin that. Oh. Richard, man, is, is everything okay at home? Just, you know, my wife doesn't want me hanging out with you anymore. Or. <laughs> I'm going to give mercy, that's a laugh, but I'll, Zach, take a bite. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, things are going well for me at home either. I just, I appreciate the times that you and I get to spend with each other, just you and me. That's important to me too, buddy. <laughs> Both of you, take a bite. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. I got some bone <laughs> to pick with you, buddy. <laughs> Please do not bring up last summer. I thought we were over that. Yeah, it's just super hot in here just like it was last summer. And you left me at the lake, man. You left me at the lake. Janice was in labor. What was I supposed to do? You, you go for your buddy who's sweltering in the heat. <sighs> Kirby, take a bite. Gosh, darn it. Oh. <clears throat> My lips are burning, buddy. <laughs> you know? Oh. 
Thank you. I was so embarrassed. I was there in my new swim in trunks. Yeah, I remember. It's it that Speedo with Ron Burgundy on the crotch. Just go ahead and take a whole swig oh, of that. Please. What the? Hey, 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 take it easy. I, I still remember the mustache, and I remember that whole bulge thing. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take it. Okay. I don't know what we're doing, Gary. Can we just let bygones be bygones? Let's do it. Let's make a pact today. All right, let's bro it out, man. Huh. 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 And that's the This has been a night at Improv Broadway. Did you guys have a good time tonight? Yeah!